Hello students, today let us see a theorem, Lagrange, a famous theorem called Lagrange's theorem from the algebraic structure chapter. This is the question state and prove Lagrange's theorem. A statement is this, sometimes they may ask the statement also. Uh, this is the statement. Uh, uh, suppose we take a finite order group. Any subgroup, if we take its order, will divide the order of that original group. This is the statement. Uh, proof we are going to proceed in three steps. First step, I take two left cosets. So the left cosets are either distinct, disjoint or identical. And it forms a partition for the original group G. That is what we are going to prove in step one. Step two, the number of elements in any left coset is equal to the subgroup H. And Step 3, we are going to prove order of G is a multiple of order of H. That multiple is the number of distinct left cosets of H in G. This is what we are going to prove. Sometimes they may ask these statements in two or four more questions. Right? <coughs> now, if we take two left, left cosets, we have to prove they are either disjoint or they are identical. Suppose if I take they are disjoint, then I have to prove they are identical. So I take they are disjoint. So there is a common element C. C is in AH and BH. If it is in AH, it is taking the form A into H1. If it is in BH, it is taking the form B into H2. So AH1 equal to BH2. If I bring that H1 to the right hand side, a equal to B H2 H1 inverse. Similarly, if I bring H2 to the left hand side, B equal to A H1 H2 inverse. Now, how do we prove this one? Let us take one element in AH and prove it is in BH. Similarly, take an element in BH and prove it, it is in AH. So, I take an element in AH. All the elements in AH are of the form A into H some h I have to take, I name it as h3. Now, a is in the form of b h2 h1 inverse, let me substitute it. Now, if I multiply all the elements of h, it's again an element in h, I name it as h4. This is taking the form b into h, so it is in the left coset bh. So, an element in ah is in the left coset bh, so AH is subset of BH. Similarly, I can prove BH is a subset of AH. B, why I take it in BH? It is taking the form BH5. B is AH1, H2 inverse that I take it as and H5 is written here. Now the product of H1, H2 inverse H5 is an element in H. I say it H6. And it is taking the form A into H, so it is in the left coset AH. So BH is a subset of AH. When I combine these two, AH equal to BH. Now, union of all left coset is G. I take an element in union of all left cosets. So it is in a left coset. So I take that is AH. So it is taking the form A into some H uh, element in H. I say it as H7. These two are elements in G. A is in G and H7 is also in G. So when I product these two, it's again in G. Now we got union of all left cosets in G. It's a subset of G. Now let us take an element in G. Y. Y is taking the form Y into E. So E is in H, so Y belongs to YH. So YH is a left coset, so it is a subset of union of all left cosets. So G is subset of union of all left cosets. When I combine these two, I will get G is the union of all left cosets. So this is simply say, set as left cosets form a partition for G. Now second one, these two sets have same number of elements. For that I have to establish one 
1 1 on to function that is bijection between these two this is the function we define phi of h equal to a star h let us prove it is 1 1 and on to what is a 1 1 technique <clears throat> if images are equal then elements must be equal so i take two element images are equal phi of h1 equal to phi of h2 so what is the definition for phi of h a star h so a star h1 equal to a star h2 a and a if you cancel by cancellation law you will get elements h1 and h2 are equal so we proved phi is 1 1 what is the on to technique for every element in the codomain let us guess a pre image and let us verify whether our guess is correct whether x is mapped to y so i take an arbitrary element in the codomain a h so y it is in the left coset so it is taking the form a star h from this i guess my pre image as h so this is the mapping from the mapping i take h is mapped to a star h if i take this element h is the pre image so x equal to h is the pre image i guess it so phi of x i verify it phi of x equal to phi of h h is mapped to a star h so a star h equal to y so x is mapped to y pre image is mapped to the taken element in the codomain so phi is on to we have proved that is these two elements have uh, sets have same number of elements now let us take g g is finite so it has finite number of distinct left cosets they are k they that is k so a1h a2h etc akh are the distinct left cosets of h in j so when i take the union a1h union a2h etc union akh that is equal to the original group g by step 2 uh, that is claim, uh, step 1 claim 2 now n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b n of a intersection b will not come as it is empty so order of a1h a2h akh is order of a1h plus order of a2h plus etc order of akh by inclusion exclusion principle now by step 2 each of these left cosets have same number of elements as in h so order of h i replace each of them by order of h order of h etc order of h how many times we are writing order of h k times now when we add all these things we will get k into order of h so order of h is a multiple of sorry order of g is a multiple of, multiple of order of h uh, in other words order of h divides order of g so with this the proof of lagrange's theorem is over let us see another theorem in the next class thank you